So um, what's up guys? So recently I was thinking about Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse and all the characters that are supposed to appear in the movie. One character that I think should be essential to appear is Insomniac Miles Morales. Now I know we're possibly going to have like two already, you know, Prowler Miles and Spider-Verse Miles, but I'm not talking about him being a character in the story, nor am I talking about him being a cameo either. Well, not just a cameo. Insomniac Miles having Spider-Man as a mentor and Spider-Verse Miles not having Spider-Man as a mentor is the perfect reason to have them two interact with each other. Insomniac Miles explaining how having Spider-Man as a mentor helped him become a great Spider-Man and without him he probably wouldn't be as good of a Spider-Man. While Spider-Verse Miles tells him even without having a mentor he still would be an amazing Spider-Man. You know, they could both talk about their powers, how evolved Insomniac Miles Morales' powers are. You know, he shows the Spider-Verse Miles his orange and blue power. He was like, yo, you have orange and blue lightning? Like, how you do that? Like, that'd be a pretty cool conversation. So then Spider-Verse Miles tells Insomniac Miles about how the Spider-Verse is trying to stop him from saving his dad. And he tells him that he just can't let his dad die. Like, he just can't sit here and do nothing about it. And then Insomniac Miles tells him the quote that his dad told him. A hero's just someone who doesn't give up. Dad said that. I would like to think Insomniac Miles did join him to try to stop the spot, but I don't know if this takes place during while Peter is taking a break or if it's after Peter takes a break because I know he will eventually come back. But it's most likely going to be during while Peter takes his break so he can't leave New York City undefended. They could also share some of the dark times that they went through. You know, Insomniac Miles trying to track down and, you know, get revenge on Martin Lee and eventually overcoming that and, you know, getting rid of the hate that he has for him. While Spider-Verse Miles, you know, express how he can't really handle being a student, Spider-Man, and a friend all at the same time, how it's difficult. I think the conversation should end with Spider-Man 2099 interrupting the conversation, you know, coming looking for Miles. Or Miles somehow gets sucked up out of his universe. I would rather Spider-Man 2099 come interrupt the conversation because a team up between both Miles versus Spider-Man 2099 will go absolutely hard. But um, anyways, this is how I think they should meet. Even if he is in the movie, I just hopefully he is in a cameo. Like, I just hope he's more than that. But um, like and subscribe and comment and I will see you guys later. Peace.